All right, so I will start creating the Node.js server, the WebSocket server. I have here a project open in VS Code. I have an empty directory, which is WebSocket examples. Um, I will start by creating a package.json for the Node.js project. I will add the WS module, which is the WebSocket module. And then I will create an index.js as the server. We will simply listen to messages from the client and send it back to the same client. So let's start by creating a package.json. I'll use npm enet and then I'll give a flag with yes to create a default package.json. Once I did this, I will add the WS module, which is the WebSocket module for Node.js. And um, if you look here, you will see the package, the JSON that we have, and we have um, the WS module here. Okay. Next step, I'll create the um, server, which is going to be index.js. So I'll just type touch index.js, and I will have an index.js file here. So first I will create, um, I require the WS module, just create a const websocket equal require WS module. Next I'll create the websocket server. I'll just type new websocket server. And then I can pass a parameter for this, which is going to be the port. I'll use the port 8080 and I can also print something in the callback just to indicate that the server have been created. Server started. So the module, the WS module have the server. This server we can listen to five events close, connection, errors, headers, and listening. Those are the five events that we can listen to and trigger some actions whenever we want. So first of all, I'm gonna print out a message once we start listening. So I'm gonna use this event listening. I'll just print out a message, console log, server is listening on port 8080 and the other event I'm going to use is connection so connection is being triggered once a WebSocket client is connected to the server so I'm gonna use WSS on connection and the callback comes with the WebSocket client that is uh, connected to the server once we listen to the connection event from the server and we have a WebSocket client connected to the server. I start listening to the event on the client. So the client have eight events that we can listen to. Close when, this, when the client is closed, error if there's an error on a message and the other events here. So we are interested in the message. Once we receive a message from the client, we want to print out a message uh, that the callback uh, comes with the data that we received or the message that we received. So I want to print out that console.log data received and I'll print out the data. And then we're going to do something really simple, which is send the message back to the same client. So I'm just going to send the same message that we received. And this should be the server. For a sanity check, let's just run the server and make sure that everything is okay. All right, we don't have errors. So I think next step will be the C Sharp Unity client, WebSocket client. Okay, so now we will work on the Unity C Sharp WebSocket client. 
I have an empty project. I have uh, added Nugget. I'll put a link in the description how to add this Nugget. This is the c -sharp package manager, similar to NPM. And we will import a WebSocket implementation that we will use to send message to the server that we just created. So I'm just gonna go to manage Nugget packages. And here I will be searching for WebSocket Sharp Net Standard. And this is the, the package that we will use in our project. Right, so once we have this in the project, uh, we can start creating the C Sharp uh, WebSocket client. So I'll create a new script. I'll just rename it, um, name it WS client. Um, we don't know, we don't need this two name spaces. I'll use the WebSocket C Sharp that we just imported. And uh, here, I'll just remove the commands. I'll just declare a WebSocket, a WebSocket object. I'll name it WS. And in the start, we will assign a new WebSocket object to this. I'll use the URL, which is WS for WebSockets, localhost. And the port that we are using is 8080 on the server. And here, I'll listen to messages from the WebSocket. And uh, I'll add an action for this. So the message they, that comes, it comes with the sender who send this message and uh, the data in this message. And here we can just do a very small debug. Message received from, and here I'll just add the sender info. And I will print out the data in the message. And in order to is uh, how, how we gonna uh, trigger sending a message I'm just gonna type if input dot eat get key down uh, I'm gonna just gonna use the key code space uh, once I press space I need to send a message I'm gonna just send hello hello Uh, something important also we need to start the connection by typing WS connect and because update runs also in the first frame we can just uh, do a check if WS is null then return and this should do it I head back to the unity project and I just drag and drop them this script on the main camera and make sure the server is up and running if I go here and I press play and then I press the space so you see that we we received the message this means that the client have sent a message and received it back and if we look at the server we have the server started and we received the message we just have a bug here just do like this let's restart and see space all right so this client have sent the message to the server and then the server sent it back to the client and we can find it here
This is it for WebSockets using Node.js and Unity. If you didn't catch anything, please refer to the blog post in the video description for the code and the code explanation.